Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? An old man, yeah, we finally got that modified Blackstone. Folks, you wanna see all the modifications? Well, you can see some of them, look at the wheels, and uh, there's a wind guard, and there's a diamond plate cover I made for a griddle. But uh, we're gonna do some seasoning today, and I'm just gonna give you a bunch of look-sees as we proceed to show you how this thing darkens up and how to season it as we go on. So I have rubbed a little oil on there, and I'll go through what kind of oil I'm using, so just uh, keep on watching. All right, just a couple minutes into it. We got a little wind today, so I put on those wind guards that I made. Tom Horseman on YouTube, you want to show, in fact, I'll leave a link down below. So how those are made, you see things are browning up in the middle a little bit. You want to use really light coats of oil. This is like painting a car. You don't want to give it heavy coats, you want to give it light coats. And if you're asking what I'm using, I know. Some of you say, you're using Camp Chef stuff? Well, I got this a couple years ago. It's a cast iron conditioner, and when you look what's in it, it's got everything that, uh, it's got flaxseed oil. A lot of people talk about using that. Sunflower oil macadamia nut oil I don't, I don't know if that's good for this or not and vitamin e so <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna see but it's darkening up real nice here I'll, I'm, I'm gonna take a bunch of pictures during the process and then we'll talk a little bit when we're done now obviously this is a small girl 17 inch uh the bigger ones the big 36 inches and that that's going to take a lot longer time to get them properly seasoned so this is just uh how we're doing it on the uh blackstone tailgater combo all right so the window's hauling pretty good out here you can just see how those uh wind guards that I made or windshields, whatever you want to call them, uh, they work. It's super simple to do, folks. Uh, and I've got a third one that goes over there, but I've just got two of them on, and, and it's uh, really helping to maintain that flame. All right, we're on the second application of oil. Anybody notice anything different? <laughs> so I did the modifications to the grill in the basement, and then the, the, getting it up the stairs, I took it all apart. And when I put it back together, I had uh, that over there and that over there. And I was wondering, you know, I, I, it just didn't dawn on me. So if you're wondering, can you use them in either location? Yeah, yeah, you can. Uh, but the, the burner that looks like an H is supposed to be the one that's under the griddle and the other one goes underneath the uh, grill top. So uh, we're just continuing on there. And you can see we're starting to get some nice color there. Give you a whole bunch more look sees uh, From this point out, I'll probably just take pictures and uh, you'll see a series of pictures. All right, let's make some burgers. Got some 80-20 chuck. Uh, I've got a little bit of uh, six cheese Italian I'm going to put in inside the burger and on the outside a little bit of tiger sauce Real tigers and then oh, look at this. This is something new. So I just got this from my uh, youngest son and um, daughter-in-law who were in, who were in uh, Mexico and uh, This is uh, I can't read any of this But I had some of it the other night and it was just wow this stuff is really good uh, I, I can't even tell you what it's in it, but yeah, you know, if you can find it, uh, it's awesome. So we'll get those burgers made up and get them on the griddle. Oh man, the bacon's rolling. And take a look down here, and it's dripping, and it's not coming back. So so far so good. Using the uh, drip tray down there, um, so far so good. Let's get the bacon done, then we'll get those burgers on. Stay tuned. All right, burgers are on. Uh, you can even see from. Uh, just doing that bacon, how much it blackened things up in there. So these burgers are gonna take a while because they're <laughs> almost an inch thick and we will blacken them up very nicely. These are gonna be awesome. All right, been about two minutes. Let's give them a quick flip. Oh, oh man. That's gonna be awesome. Keep on watching, give you a couple more look-sees. This thing is working this fantastic. So I did not do any mod to this thing, but uh, the grease is dripping perfectly into the tray, not down the leg or anywhere else. So nice job, Blackstone. All right, let's give her another flip. <laughs> I'm telling you what, should be jealous because these burgers are going to be fantastic. So. Uh, we're gonna get our burnt, uh, we're just gonna finish these up, get our buns all nice and toasted up, give you a look, see at the final product. Stay tuned. Oh <laughs> man, the first cook. Look, look at those bacon burgers. Oh man. Look at that juice. Oh, that is so good. Folks, I can't wait to dive into this. 
going to be awesome. Tom Horseman on YouTube. Hope you enjoyed this. Showed you how to season it up and do your first cook. And it turned out fantastic. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Like I said before, Tom Horseman on YouTube. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it.